probably been inspired by every fox. Yeah. And their garbage sheet. Apart from Leffen. Leffen, Leffen and his garbage <laughs> sheet. <laughs> yeah. We got losers finals. Uh, as expected for the tournament, you got second and third seed duking it out. I was about to say, as expected for the tournament, we have losers finals. A thing that probably yeah, should happen. Have yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's single element when you don't, though. That's true, and sometimes the top three split the pot, or someone has to leave. Or someone DQs out of losers. It's a good, uh, good thing in poker. Splitting the, uh, the prize. Everyone gets... Take a little less risk. I think I'm gonna ask whoever wins this if they want to split and see what they say. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Musk will say yes. I feel like... <laughs> yeah. I just feel like you are probably a... Like a, a 19 to 1 favorite or something, like over whoever yeah. comes in, like a 95 to 5. Yeah, I think you're right. That's <laughs> I, a world. I just. I can't imagine you wanting to split the pot, but also it's $45, it's funny which to is ask to. Her, I think. You know, I mean, if you ask and they say yes, you have to split it. <laughs> Alright, into game one, and Musket's still on the Sheik. He's a Sheik believer. Uh. Two. Or he just knows he's gonna need it warmed up. Two. <laughs> Fair enough. Two. I think from what I've heard, McLeod is not the best against Sheik. And, uh, McLeod actually two. has been talking a big game against Sheik recently. He's really? Saying he's getting a lot of practice against Sheik recently. Probably from Musket. Probably from Musket, yeah. You know. Musket's hiding in the shadows. Never told anyone about his Sheik. I'd love to say, do you know what his, his Sheik Smurf name is? And I probably shouldn't say that on the stream, so I won't. What is it? I'm not saying on the stream. And it's PJ Furious. <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> Even I'm laughing at <laughs> Yeah, famous Chad Bonus friend, Musket. Yeah. And Musket. Looking to make the Sheik work against this Peach. Do you think he'll go Fox if it starts to lose? Yeah. This would be frustrating yeah. for McLeod if it starts to lose as well. McLeod putting a lot of work in, in the matchup. So it's a bit scary. I mean, Musket's already shown that he can win three in a row. Two and FD. I think he has some leeway, some confidence. Uh, to test this out. And obviously this isn't... This isn't coming in blind, he's playing the clouds band. You know what Musket knows? He knows that it's my last local ever, but it's not these two's last local ever. Right. And he knows he's in it to win the whole thing. And if he takes a loss in a cloud because he's playing an unfamiliar matchup, then so be it. Hey man, with all your respect, I want Musket to, to beat you. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see it happen. Yeah, let's go do it. You can oh, leave SA a defeated man. Like, uh, like Don Bradman, you know? Yeah. Called out for a duck in his final innings. Very sad. It's not sad, though. It's kind of bittersweet. Yeah. Two. Some things are what too could perfect have been. to be true. Yeah. Such as me never fucking losing. <laughs> yeah, a nice handing of the torch moment. Yeah, wouldn't that be perfect? You never losing. <laughs> there must have been a time when you were bad. I mean, yeah, like, I lost before I was... Yeah. <laughs> Because Ollie, oh, yeah. Ollie was around, he was good. Too. Yeah, I always wonder how they do those stats. It must be only majors. Like, Jay Luke obviously cannot have 37 consecutive wins on Marth and zero losses. Well, it's probably just from the start of Smash GG. Right. At which point he was already good. Yeah. Like, when Smash GG started, I was already good. So. Yeah, pretty good. McLeod is kind of getting a little snuffed by this Sheik. Sheik is really fucking good in this matchup. This you know, is, like, the other matchup I would want to play Sheik for if I was in Lux. Uh, it's, it's one of the things I've been considering, that's why I've picked up the shrink. It's, uh, it's Samus, Marth, and Peach. Yeah. Maybe Falcon. It's just a simple issue, but uh, the Cloud... Just hold her out, you know. Really good backhand. Love that backhand. That's the backhand that I need to start doing more. Tufan is afraid. indeed Vic. The score is 0-0, zero, zero, Tufan. As indicated by the score. I shouldn't be sassy, we often forget to update the score. Yeah, we did it in fact the very last set. Shut up, Tifa. I believe Tifa has been to several Ooh, That's locals. gonna do it. Roll up in the ledge and, uh. Shake's looking good. And 
that's such a risky recovery. You want to ledge that. You don't need to throw away the stock there. You've got plenty of life to live. Especially against Peach, who's not the best at edgeguarding off the ledge. Sorry, I'm too busy soaking this in because I would like to be beating Cloud in this matchup. Let's do it, dude. It's pick Sheik and win. Easy. Oh, you sound like my Twitter. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Twitter was right. I never said it was wrong. <laughs> Look, what I've discovered is... Right back. What I've discovered is it's fun to be the one playing Sheik. Yeah. I think Australia as a whole is pretty bad against Sheik. Yeah. Even even Josh and Sock going to the US and kind of running into some troubles. Yeah. And the cloud clutches that out while we Sorry, Goody, I haven't I haven't seen Brad's message from you. So maybe you're gonna have to look a little harder if you want to see a Sheik beat McLeod, because uh, it's not happening right now. McLeod don't clutching I? up at the end of that match. Don't I just have to look at every set he's ever played against Davin? Lucky he's wearing headphones. <laughs> <laughs> And we're sticking with the Sheik. Sorry, McLeod. Musketeer, this is my best chance to win the tournament oh, uh, today, even if it's not my best chance to win the matchup. Thanks, Brad. I don't think you can see me, and that's good. Interesting uh, Pokemon pick. I kind of feel Yoshi's in this matchup. I like a top flat. I like the, the very narrow blast zone. I mean, at the end of the day, you're horizontally a lot faster than Pitch, so right. the, state, the space is always going to be useful to you, but McLeod, once again, starting strong. Yeah, oh, great answer. Beautiful. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. Coverage. And McLeod's edge guards on Sheik are actually looking really good. Um, he's preemptively catching the start up of the uppies. Speaking of uh, Sheik's famously skip, who is in the chat now, kind of gave McLeod the hands of that metal cavern they went to. Yeah, that character is good. One of the best. I believe it was a 3-1. One of the best to ever do it. And McLeod came out saying Skip is top 10. I mean, Skip kind of kind of is. Well, kind of was know. at the time, at least. Uh, when Skip's like in, in form, you know, when he's playing, when he's active. Oh, I'm not player. making any criticism to Skip. I'm not qualified to judge. I'm just uh, relaying <laughs> the wisdom of Mr. Cloud. Yeah. Good Luigi as well. And uh, McLeod just spent a whole stuff in the corner, but somehow it made this reversal happen. Uh, that's what we call that the chibe. Yes, that was the chibe. The chibi. I do appreciate it when you were playing someone and you do that and you say you got chibed or something similar. Or you, that was a chibi stock. Yeah, I, when, when I'm specifically playing yeah. someone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes you just gotta pay respect to the, to the greatest to the ever man. doing. That's true, that's true. I do find, I mean, I name things after the first person I see do them. And I said, that's the J-Nuts, and Zai gave me, like, the dirtiest look. <laughs> Ooh, great back edge choice. Once again, he goes for that Architect Punish setup with the Nair. There's nothing really you can do about the Nair there. Like, you can just survival the air, because the Architect is gonna get you killed. I've never even considered that. The, uh, I'm not going to arms attack because this is literally a worse option. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. No, no, it, it, it makes case. sense. Yeah. I was always like, I'll learn to arms attack and then I'll just arms attack all the scenarios. But no. Yeah, that was what it was like for the first like two months when people were arms attacking. And then right. people realized, like, nah. I think it's hit you again, you know. I wish I was around for the two months where you all couldn't handle slide off the eye. I was there. Yeah, would have, been, would have been nice. I was there for the two months of arms attack, shield dropping, and slide off the air. <laughs> shield drop paid dividends to learn early. I was there. Yeah, just survival DI that. Doesn't have a lot of mix oh, ups, especially now. Up. And, uh, the regular getup's gonna do it. The cloud looking strong. His confidence in the Sheik matchup, not unfounded. And I know the cloud. I'm sure Musket was excited to play me with the Sheik, but McLeod is always hungry to play me, so he wants this. It's true. Are you gonna play him with Puff, though? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see, probably on Dreamland. I'm going home if you pick Puff on Dreamland. I mean, what else am I gonna do on Dreamland? Uh, Lose? Yeah. Quickly. Musket really trying to find this kill. Finally gets the grab, it's gonna convert. Still kind of scary for McLeod. She can rack up damage fast. And McLeod teleporting out of the uphill. 
Oh, he's cheek up stage. One that was a time. failed shield drop. I was gonna say, trying to get that that edge guard set. Up. And this is scary. I think this is gonna be it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Will we see the fox? And the clown can spawn. It might be time for the fox. The flood fans at home clamoring for the fox. I think that's vacuously true. <laughs> there are indeed no flood fans. No, it's Baranger. Yeah, I suppose you can be a fan even if you're part of the org. The thing about the Sheik is it can't get hard counter pick to FD as badly. I'm surprised we didn't see the Sheik on FD in minutes, but I mean the Fox, you know, did it. Yeah. Cloud crazy with it. All that pressure, dude, he's scary. Oh, this is not the start we want to see. I love having a Cloud's player right now. I've been watching this exclusively from Musket's perspective because I'm trying to love this matchup, but uh... He's just playing aggro. He's rushing down. Yeah. He's bulldozing his way in with CC, as you just saw. I mean, oftentimes that's good against Sheik, Pesh right? Pesh dash, Pesh dash. Pesh dash alert. Oh, is he? He's 100 something. Attention all melee watchers, we've seen a Pez Dash. I don't want to alarm anyone, but there was a Pez Dash. Wait, what was that? What did you say? I think there might have been a Pez Dash. Oh, really? <laughs> Pez Dash is like back in 2014 when everyone would shield drop, the commentator would always say, shield drop. Except Pez Dash is not going to become ubiquitous in the same way. So uh, it's just going to be every time it happens forever. I don't know. I feel like there are, there's probably a couple of. Slippy kid teachers who are just like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna win that. Dude, that was great spacing around that back air, and the cloud, ooh, I was gonna say, staying alive, still got for it. Yeah, Trying to make the needles rack up, because uh, Peach is just fucking scary to hit, as she can look at that. Goody, man, you can do that, but you have to say it to the next face. I suppose I said it earlier that I'd be cheering for Musket. If so you want Giddy, but uh, I know who your heart wants to win. Boss and Kiss. <laughs> the camera a big mouth kiss if you want. Yeah, I will. What if I win? <laughs> Not looking good for uh I love how he King of SA. opens his mouth in this uh you know. <laughs> oh, he's fucked it. Ooh, good up there. That's the only thing that would really got him out of that situation. I just want to see more melee. Personally. Oh, I thought the Eiffel must get. He could have lived that and probably had a mix up after living as well, but uh, Cloud really fucking running away with this. Dude, he's so fast. I don't want to see Sad Musket walk down those steps in a moment, but we might be seeing that. Yeah, I think it's pretty much over. Like, there's not really that much you can do to, like, not trade with Peach. Yeah, he's going to do it. Well played. Uh, wow. I respect, I respect the choice. Oh, Nick is, uh, we can hear. He's pulling cables through the couch. Oh.